Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing yesterday's problem of the day that is anagram. This question appeared in Nagaro and Media.net and four other companies. Then this question is related to strings and sorting. Okay. Now let us move to the problem statement and understand this problem. We are given two strings A and B. Consisting of only lower case character, only lower case character. The task is to check whether two given strings are an anagram of each other or not. Now, what is an anagram? Okay. Now, suppose we have two words, act and tack. Okay. Then we can see this T matches with this T. This A matches with this A and this C matches with this C. Okay, what does this mean? This means that an anagram of a string is another string that contains the same characters. Only the order of characters can be different. Only the order can be different. So this is written that the order can be different. Why not make the order same? This is written in the question itself. So what we can do is if we are given act and tag. Then can we make the order same for both? What is the ordering? If we talk about ordering in the case of programming, the first thing that comes in our mind is sorting. Okay. So after sorting, this would become A, C and T and this would also become A, C and T. Okay. Then we can just compare the corresponding characters and then we can report this if it is an anagram or not. If we find a mismatch or if any character is left or the length is not matching, then this is not an anagram. If the length is not matching, then this is definitely not an anagram. Don't do the iteration after that. So what? Now talking about this sorting, talking about the time complexity, suppose if you give this approach to the interviewer, now the interviewer would ask you for the time complexity. Sorting has a time complexity of n square and different different options, but the most optimal implementation of sorting would have the time complexity of n log n. n is the size of the array itself or the string itself, anything, number of characters, number of elements, anything you see. Now, this comparison would take big O of n. Okay, so big O of n log n and big O of n. So the time complex, worst time complexity would be n log n. This would be the worst time complexity. Now, the interviewer suppose tells you to optimize more upon this. Okay, you need to optimize more upon this. To optimize more upon this, what can we do is act and tack. Act and tack. We were just, what we were doing, we were just mapping that A to A, then C to C. T to T. That is what we are doing. We can do the same thing as we are doing manually. We can store the frequency of each characters. Okay. We can store the frequency of A. We can store the frequency of C and we can store the frequency of T. And how many different different letters we need to store the frequency? We need to just store the frequency of 26 characters. Okay. 26 characters. Just this. Why? Because lowercase, just lowercase, not even uppercase. If it were lowercase as well as lowercase, it would have been 26 into 2, that is 58. But as it is only lowercase, we would have the number of characters as just 26. So we would just declare an array of 26 with everything as initially 0. Then from the first string, what we can do is we can just add plus 1, plus 1, plus 1 to everything. And we can have minus 1, minus 1 and minus 1 to every string. Now uh, this would just cut this off, this would cut this off, this would cut this off. Okay. And make every value as 0. Make every value as 0. It means that after doing all these things, if any of the value is not equal to 0, then we don't have an anagram. If every value is 0, then we have an anagram. Fair enough. Now we would do the same thing while implementing. Okay, now let's start with the implementation. Okay. So we are provided with A and B string. Okay. So first we should remove this comment so that it makes the look of the code better or you can leave it as it is. Next what we can do is we can just start with a array 
of 26 and then we can do is memset or let's not do this memset you can do this memset to memset f comma 0 comma size of f this would make everything as 0 or you can just start with a loop of f 0 to 26 and make everything as 0 fair enough now what you can do is from the first string we would add plus 1 so we would do the same thing so for auto so this is the for each loop of a let me remove this okay and then f dash e plus plus okay then we would just copy the same thing and we would paste this and this would be the second string and the second string we were subtracting one after doing all this we would see the elements of the array itself if e is anything other than zero then we return false here if we didn't find any value and this is complete then every value is zero then we need to return true to it let me check if there are any compilation errors or not it might be the case that i am typing out something wrong or a variable or something yeah so this is giving us a correct output for the sample test case now you should never submit your solution before the compilation and all you should always debug your solution the submit op submit button should be the last option okay if you are well convinced with your solution so f of 26 this seems fine this seems fine because this is making every value as zero so garbage value won't be stored then we are using a for each loop where we are incrementing the cut character itself then decrementing the character and if e is not equal to zero then we are returning false but we can see that the number of the uh, this f is 26 so we need to subtract the value of a to it what does this mean this means that every e every character has a ascii value associated with it so the ascii value associated suppose for a suppose for a it is anything suppose 5 so b would be 6 c would be 7 so even if you don't remember the ascii code it's none of the problem because a the value of a minus a would make it 0 value of b minus the value of a would make it 1 value of c minus the value of a would make it 2 that is why we need to subtract the value of a to make it 0 indexed and it would take just this and if you don't want to subtract suppose you don't remember all this then just take a value of character of 256 and this would pass okay because the value can at most be 256 okay but this would make the size of the array and this would also increase the time complexity okay now let us submit this and see if we get an ac or not and yes we got an ac now talking about this what is the time complexity of this we have initialized a frequency array of 26 then we are doing memset memset is big o of 26 then this would be a so what is the value of a big o of n then this would suppose uh, this would big o of m whatever this is and then we check for each of the value of 26 fair enough now let's do the calculation suppose you did this then you would see the calculation before submitting only you would know if this would pass only or not you don't need to see this expected time complexity and all so what can be the maximum value of a and b the maximum value of n and m can be 10 to the power 5 and 10 to the power 5 so this would be replaced by big o of 10 to the power 5 this would be replaced by big o of 10 to the power 5 and this would be replaced with big o of 26 so the maximum number of computation is 10 to the power 5 10 to the power 5 is less than 10 to the power 8 so you would get accepted instead of tle tle won't be there again you would get accepted because this is less than this this was the complete calculation now talking about some announcements and all there is an announcement that is still left that you have a course on data structures with c plus plus and there is the offer going on and this course enrollment would be available for the next one day only this is the last day today is the last day so this is today is the last day this marks the end so if you use this 
code launch offer then you would be getting an instant discount of 50% off on this course so if you want to enroll this is a live course and you would be getting a complimentary course on the c++ also so even if you are intermediate even if you are a beginner with no experience in coding you are most welcome to this course because with this course you would be getting a complimentary course of c++ foundation so that's it that's all for today thank you and have a nice day